Hello everyone. Uh, in today's tutorial, we are going to determine the heat transfer coefficient using the Nusselt number base correlations and the numerical computation in Comsole multi physics. So, open the Comsole, select the model wizard, and then uh, click on the 2D axis symmetric, then go to the fluid flow, then to the non isothermal flow, select the laminar flow. Click on the add button, click on the study, select the stationary and click on the done. So the console window opens. Now we have to uh, define some parameters which are used in our simulation. So click on the parameters under the global definition and uh, these parameters are listed in a notepad file. I will copy all the parameters from here. Uh, the link to this notepad file is given in the description. So just open the link, download the notepad, open the notepad file and uh, then select all and risk controls. Now risk control be here to copy all the parameters. Huh? It is the length of the tube we are going to model, B is its diameter, P0 is the inlet temperature of the uh, air, Q average is the average inlet velocity, this is the wall heat flux and uh, the wall temperature. We also have to define some uh, variables, so right click on the definition and uh, click on the variables. Again these variables are uh, listed in a uh, note fair file so i will just copy these uh, param uh, these variables from here so select all then press control c and here control v so these are the variable used in our uh, simulation as you can see this this is the inlet velocity oh, sorry this is the grads number assault number frontal number renal number renal number and frontal number are used to determine the grass number and uh, uh, the grass number is used to determine the assault number and from the assault number we determine the heat transfer coefficient the bulk temperature the central line temperature the inlet velocity and the bulk velocity now uh, go to the material, right click on the material, add material from the rebuttal. So these are uh, search air here, double click on the air. So the material, the material air is added. We also have to define the geometry. So right click on the geometry and then choose rectangle. So the width is uh, width is actually this is the diameter of our tube. So the, uh, the sorry the radius of the tube. This is b by two, and this is the length of the tube, which is a n. So click on the build selected. So this is the 2D geometry of the tube we are going to model and uh, now go to the laminar right click on the laminar choose inlet so this is our boundary 2 is our inlet boundary and uh, we know that the uh, inlet velocity is a uh, u which is which has already been defined in the parameter section now right click on the laminar choose outlet this is our outlet boundary so choose boundary number three now uh, go to the heat transfer fluids right click on the heat transfer fluids and uh, uh, then go to the flow condition and uh, choose the end flow select boundary number two and the inlet temperature is a T naught 
sorry t not now again right click on the heat transfer fluids go to the flow condition and uh, choose outflow so boundary 3 is a uh, outlet boundary this boundary 4 is uh, exposed to the uh, heat flux so we will also add uh, that heat flux so right click on the heat transfer fluids go to the heat flux choose boundary number 4 and uh, write qw here we have already found this heat flux in our parameter section now go to the mesh uh, select phase control mesh here and uh, click on the build all <coughs> so we have meshed the geometry now click on this compute button hit the home menu click on this compute button uh, we have to wait for a few uh, seconds as the simulation is running so the simulation has uh, run successfully now we are going to analyze the results so click on this velocity 3d uh, surface this is the 3d velocity profile for the better visualization go to the views click on view 3 2 and click on the camera from view scale choose the manual and uh, write 0 0.1 here click on the update and then click on the zoom extent so this is the 3d velocity profile of the cube view just model and uh, from here you can see the temperature profile this is the uh, temperature profile you can also change the color table from here color table go to the uh, rainbow classic plot and uh, this is the temperature profile now we are going to the determine the heat transfer coefficient so for that click on the result right click on the result choose 1d plot group and uh, rename this with heat transfer coefficient now click on this right, right click on this heat transfer coefficient and uh, choose the line graph select the boundary number 4 and uh, in the y-axis data in the expression line write the write this expression 4.36 dot ht dot krr by b this is actually the expression for the heat transfer coefficient to, uh, for the fully developed lemon outflow as we know that uh, uh, nusselt number is given as uh, nusselt number is equal to hd by k and uh, for the fully developed laminar flow nusselt number equals to 4.36 so from here uh, we can uh, determine the heat transfer coefficient so i have just typed this relation this correlation in the console now uh, go to the x axis data parameters choose the expression and uh, write uh, z that means along the z axis okay and uh, in the legend choose manual and write no salt number for you develop flow now uh, again right click on the heat transfer coefficient choose the line graph select the boundary 4 and uh, in the expression write this expression in the expression line uh, 
This expression is actually used for the determination of the heat transfer coefficient for the entry and for the fully developed region. This is actually the equation. We have already defined this equation in the uh, variable section. So from here the Nusselt number is uh, calculated for the developing a fully developed flow and then from the Nusselt number we calculate the heat transfer coefficient using this expression and uh, now go to the x-axis choose the expression and write z here now go to the legends legends choose manual and uh, write no salt number entry and uh, fully develop click on the, the uh, ensure that you have checked this show legends now again right click on the heat transfer coefficient go to the line graph choose boundary 4 and uh, in the y axis write expression qw divided by t capital t minus t B. So this will uh, calculate the heat transfer coefficient numerically. Go to the x axis data, choose expression and write z here, and uh, the legend. Choose manual and write numerical. Show legend. Click on the plot. So this is the plot. Okay. Uh, we have not checked this. I'll show legends of the line graph one. So check this as well. This is the line graph that uh, shows us the heat transfer coefficient for the fully developed this blue line and uh, uh, heat transfer coefficient for the entry and uh, fully developed flow and uh, the red line is for the uh, numerical uh, numerical computation so the x-axis is the z-coordinate and the y-axis is actually the heat transfer uh, coefficient. Thank you very much.